Ja. Twenty, almost twenty inches, just under twenty inches. Go. I'm more of you to catch. Ready? Look how big this fish is. That's an eight-inch hold. On the LB. Oh my god, my rod! Oh, that's a big fish. Oh my god. Where are you gonna go? Josh is sleeping right now. I'm gonna go pop his, his, his step up right there. Tell him he's got a flag, and when he goes in there, he's got a bed. I'm gonna sneak on that bed because my back's killing. <laughs> Hey Josh, you got a flag? Josh! Josh, you got a flag? Bro, <laughs> hurry up, man. Where you going? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do it. I can do it. Cozy in here. Josh has the setup, man. On the spoon? Yeah. Yeah. Nice fish, bud. Yeah. Okay. Haven't seen him yet. It was a big head shake. Yeah? Yeah, unless he's hooked. Weird. Weird. Sam! Come here! <laughs> big! Is he that big? No, he's not even big. Oh, I felt so okay. much bigger. <laughs> They're just biting hard, dude. Yeah. He has his you got mouth him? open. Yeah. Well, that's spoon still. Yeah. I mean, I like how I'm complaining here about another four, <sighs> five pound walleye. It's not where we came here for, though. Yeah. We're we... doing this whole trip. We're literally soaking. <laughs> For bigger ones than this, but you good? Yeah. Decent one. I'll get down there. Dude, he came up and choked it. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. There you go. Dude. Guys. I can't even see the spoon. <laughs> ah, it's not very big. But really cool. Oh, thank you. No I can't even see the spoon. <laughs> like gone gone? Yeah, it's like gone gone. Oh, you got it. Should be able to go. Come on, buddy. There you go. I switched it up a little bit. Sab and Josh and myself have all been fishing the uh, green gold. Switch it up to the silver blue. Guess it works. <laughs> Numbers and everything. You want to see it? Let's 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 all do this with my camera. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight inches. Twenty-eight inches, and he's he's bumping half an inch there or a quarter inch. So I'm not the biggest one on the trip, but I'm happy. Dude, I'm after the trip we've yeah. had, it's crazy. It's nuts. Goes back in. He's hungry to go. Look. Woo! Heck yeah, bud! <laughs> oh man, what a trip, man. Yeah.
my god, Josh. Yeah, yeah that's a big fish. Yeah, losing your rack. Okay. It's on. <laughs> yeah, it's a big fish. Make sure your drag is where you're going to lose. It's okay, I got something. I got a book on me. Yeah, unless you got him hooked weird. LB just hooked a big one. Yeah. yeah. Holy. This is another 11. Oh my god. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, I don't even see how my leader's <laughs> long. I don't even see my. Oh, there you see him on the grass. Yeah, yeah. One sec, Seb. One sec. Unless you have a hook, like it's in the side or something. Yeah. No, I think he's a. I think it's a big fish. He, he he's, like hit it. Yeah, like he, he hit it. Just in case. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. And your drag is not loose right now. Either. I'm That's not my thing. leader. Yeah. I have two, I have two real turns. I guess more than that. Okay. He's gonna be fierce. I saw his tail. Oh my god, is that as big as I just thought, thought it was? I don't know, dude. <laughs> it looks pretty big, but... We'll see. I'm not saying anything just yet. And then later again. It's a spoon, right? Yeah, it's okay. a spoon. I, I set the look, I set the look. Oh my god, my arms are shaking. My arms are shaking, dude. Please make a sick on this. Okay. Just trying to get through. Almost. One second. It's almost through. I can't see anything. Yeah, it's all good. He's just hooked right on the top of the head. Oh God! Yeah. Be careful, eh? Oh, it's coming. Oh, he's so close to coming through. I see his head. Yeah, I'm just trying to get Yeah. Him. We need like ten inch holes. <laughs> yeah. You okay? You okay? Oh <sighs> What's that gross, dude? 17 even. 17 even? That, we that just... might be 12 pounds. Yeah, that's 12 pounds all day. Holy sh- Alright, let's stick her back. Holy! This is about the same length as that PB I caught before, but about 3 inches more girth. So this guy's definitely over 10 pounds. I don't know if he's gonna go. He's not kicking, I want to get him to kick. Yeah. It was a long fight, dude. Yeah. There he's you go. Some big runs here. There you go. On that silver one, dude. Silver and blue, silver and, blue. Ah, and that glow sock. I just, jo Josh just saw me put UV light on it. Yeah, insanity, dude. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a big fish. It fought different, eh? oh, yeah. it fought different. Yeah, that run. That's probably like 11. Oh, we'll see. I'm gonna check a calculator quick, but I'm gonna say it's a 12 pounds. You think it's 12, 12 pounds? Pounder, yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to start winding down for the night. I'm really freaking happy with that fish. Really happy with that fish. That's why we prepared for all. That's why we trekked in here. That's why we drove all the way up here. It's for a couple of those fish. I'm going to start winding down. I got to eat. I got to drink. I'm going to watch Josh do his, do his walleye thing. And uh, it's going to be a cold night, but I'll talk to you guys tonight. All right, guys. We decided we're gonna pack it up tonight. It's gonna be cold. We don't think we're gonna fit in Seb's hut. There's just a thermal one, so we're gonna pack it up. Uh, I'm gonna end off this video tomorrow when I'm home, and I'll talk about the trip to you guys. Uh, we got big bats, boy! <laughs> oh yeah!
All right, guys, we are back home, and man, what a trip. Before I recap it, I want to let you guys know that I partnered up with Freedom Tackle and uh, the Canadian Tackle Store to bring you guys a giveaway. If you guys are interested in winning some swag and some of the baits that we use on this trip, my Instagram, Lady Bass Fishy, you guys will see all of the details for the giveaway there. Um, and that being said, let's quickly recap the trip. So initially, uh, the trip was going to be two nights and three days, but as you guys saw after that first night, uh, we decided to pack it up. Um, we weren't feeling too good because of all the propane and all of our stuff was wet, so um, it was a lot safer just to head home and come back another time, and we will for sure be going back another time. So we got to the spot in the evening, uh, fished for about an hour, caught a couple fish. Uh, the next morning was absolutely fire, um, probably landed over 15, 20 walleye just for myself, um, and I caught that 29 incher that morning. Um, unfortunately, my camera was looping and I forgot to press the loop after I caught it, so I lost that uh, that footage. Um, but you guys saw the saw the release shot. Uh, super beautiful, long skinny fish that was my first 29 incher and then throughout the day we were still catching josh caught a bunch of like 27 28 inch fish seb got a couple 27 28 inch fish uh that evening i managed to land as you guys saw um or josh helped me land that 29 and a half 29 and a half inches uh by 17 girth absolute mammoth of a walleye she was an old girl as you guys saw her dorsal fin most of her dorsal fin was missing now that fish was easily 11 pounds probably closer to the up 12 pound mark she was super super full um and yeah that's uh that was my last fish of that trip and what a way to end it <laughs> this was my first time camping on the ice and um definitely a lot of fun um, a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you guys, other than, other than the rain. But we were super, super prepared. Even little things. A lithium battery for your fish finder. Um, I fished two days, as you guys saw, with my fish finder, with my Helix 5. I came back and uh, the battery was still above 50%. So, um, batteries such as a Dakota lithium battery or a lithium battery. I personally highly recommend this one. I've been using it for three years. Um golden it's absolutely golden but stuff like that stuff like a lithium battery um slippers would have been nice on the for the mat so i didn't i didn't trek snow into the hut um i definitely overpacked on um on food i didn't have eating that much but like little things like that i'm going to take into my next camping trip so i hope you guys enjoyed this little series um i had a lot of fun Definitely not my last time camping out on the ice. And I'm going to leave everything I use down below in the description, all my gear, all my tackle, and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, hit that thumbs up button. I, I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.